Hi everyone, we're back at UKGE with Callum and Naomi from Full of Rage Games. Hi guys, how are you? Hey, good tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exhausted, but great. Look yeah. great, okay. Well, you're all here this weekend showing off this amazing party game. Why don't you tell us all about it? Yeah, so um, do you know the story of the Platypus when it was first introduced in the UK? I do, but I think you should tell everyone watching what the story is. Uh, so when the first specimen of the Platypus was introduced to the scientific community, Nobody thought it was real. They thought it had been three pieces of animals stitched together by an awful scientist seeking fame and glory. And in our game, you played that scientist. Hey. You're going to be stitching together animal parts, telling a wild tale, trying to convince the museum that it's a real animal that they should exhibit. Okay, so what's the mechanics of the game? How does it all work? Sure. So you're, the museum is going to ask you to bring back an amazing animal from your travels that fulfills a criteria. There's kids and big kids. So, an animal that looks like your teacher. You're going to get animal parts and you're going to try and showcase this. <laughs> you know what your favourite teacher looks like, but can you showcase it in an animal form? You get free animal heads, bodies and tails, and you create an animal. Okay. So, an example of some heads. <laughs> what we got? A flying squirrel, yeah. a red crowed crane, and a stump toed gecko. Stump toed gecko? I don't even know what a stump toed gecko is. Why did he? No. That's why he's so sad. So, here's a. Oh, it's uh, some body parts. Yes. And some tails. So you'd have a, a set of three. Yep. And then you just mash them up. Do you have a go? Let's let's do it. Let's see what we get. Show us an animal that looks like your teacher. I mean, it's been a while since I was in school. I'll tell you that. Oh, do you want this? Oh, one? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Like your yeah. How about this one? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, actually, let's go with the flying squirrel. Yeah. Kind teacher, kind yeah, eyes. Yeah, I mean it's my favourite, so it's got to be. <laughs> I don't know what that horn was that was going off there, but they can be a bit prickly. Yeah. And well, they're not paid enough, are they? No. And uh, they've got a long tail like a rice wrap. Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely. <laughs> what did they teach there you, you teacher? Uh, subject. The subject. Uh, it was RE actually, which is really weird because I'm not religious at all. But my favourite teacher was my RE. Yeah, my RE teacher. Didn't do a very good job then. No. Or oh, very good job. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, it depends uh, on your point of view. Yeah. yeah, so you would showcase your animal and then we'd all take part in being the museum as well. Yeah. We would uh, then award each other with one of these. This is just a prototype. Once we get it fully made, uh, it will be wearable. Yeah. So at the end, you'll be just adorned with all your wearable medals of scientific achievement. Excellent. So you'd go one, two, three, and then you would throw it to the person or the animal that you best think's fulfilled the brief. Yeah. After that, you'd have to explain where you came from to get this amazing animal, why you are a fantastic scientist and definitely not a fake who made it in his garage. Oh, no, something. absolutely Terrible. not. No, no. And then also, um, the museum itself wants to answer it from you. It wants to know, how did you get so famous? So everyone would answer that question. Yep. And then you'd get uh, questions either from the top of your head, but we have prompts here as well. Yeah. Sometimes it's easier to get the creative juices flowing. <laughs> Again, pink side for kids. Blue size for big kids. Yep. And then once the time of that is done, you'd again have another voting system. Everyone vote who told the best story yep. about it. And then at the end? There is a mad chaotic dice element. Chaotic is the word. It sure <laughs> is. We had to sneak some chaos in there, obviously. So as you can see on the cards, there's five dice symbols. So you're seeking to roll dice to match up to the full animal, five dice, five symbols. Once you fill the entire animal, you can grab a badge in the middle. It's all kind of happening yeah. simultaneously. However, if there's any uh, dice that don't match in your roll, in order to re-roll, you need the help of your fellow scientists. So you can, uh, there's lots of different kind of ways you can do this. There's high fives, there's finger guns, and you have to shout something sciencey to each other. You can do the Macarena really quickly, play rock, paper, scissors. We encourage people to just make their own up. Yeah. But there has to be some kind of thing that makes the re-rolling possible. Yeah. Again, as many times as you can fill it up, as many times as you can do that, then the more points you get, stick it on yourself. And there's time, so it's, oh, a, very, yeah, yeah. it's a short, sappy round. And then the person with the most badges is the winner. They get their animal into the museum. Yay. So there's three rosettes. We, it's usually a three round kind of game yeah. or so, but you can do one round, whatever. But one round, one animal only gets into the museum, and that's the one with the most points. So, how did you come up with the idea for this game? 
So I think the mechanics came to us first about like putting animal parts together. Yeah. And then we both knew the story of the platypus. Yeah. Our favorite animals because what a weirdo it is. Yeah, so weird. And so then we built a game around that. Ah, okay. Cool. So what are the plans going forward? Is this going to be on Kickstarter? Or yeah, you... hopefully at the end of the year we'll have a Kickstarter going. At the moment we're trying to figure out some of the components. As we said, all of these should be wearable yeah. by the time the Kickstarter goes live. So we're just talking to manufacturers at the moment about that. Okay, cool. Uh, and time scale, sorry, did you say? Just Hopefully at the end of the year. End of the year, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. cool. If people want to find out more, where should they go on the internet to find you? Sure, they should follow us on Full of Rage Games. Yeah. We have an Instagram and Twitter. We also have a link tree if they want to subscribe to that, and then yep. they'll update it once we get a Kickstarter up and running. Super. So it's just full of rage games .co.uk. Okay, cool. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, this was really fun. Uh, we had a, I had a great time when we played it yesterday. So, uh, yeah, wish you all the best in the future. And thanks very much for having a chat with us. Thank, Thank you so much. much. And thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you soon. Yeah.